I bring to you another Dollar Tree haul because um, I've, I've gone to the Dollar Tree in the last week but I haven't hauled anything because it's only been like five items here, two items there, but today, today I went to the Dollar Tree and bought a whole shit ton of stuff. So actually I spent about $56 and a lot of it is duplicates of, of just one item, but I'm starting to do crafts again. Now that I have my craft area kind of situated now and I can find stuff. So now I found that I want to craft again. So stay tuned for some crafty videos coming up here in the future. Um, but now we are going to get into the haul that is from Dollar Tree. All right. So, uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, five bags and two large items. So I'll start with the large items first and, uh, be glad that you can't see my floor guys because it's a hot mess right now. Uh, I've got papers and chipboard and foam board and paper pads and glue and all kinds of stuff all over my floor so I'm not going to show it to you because it's just a mess. So the first thing I got was these two wrapping papers. I thought they were super cute. I love yellow. I don't know what it is about yellow but I love it and I love polka dots. So I got these two because um, I got two of them because um, you only get 17 and a half square feet in this roll. So, and lately I've been doing a lot of large crafting uh, with paper and because they don't sell rolled paper at Hobby Lobby anymore, um, I resorted to using wrapping paper because it's the next best thing. It's a little thin, not gonna lie. It tears really easily, but for a buck, it's not too bad. I wish that they had other colors in this print, but sadly they didn't. So there's that. Um, let's see what's in this bag. I got some tissue for my car. So I'll put that right there. I got some eyelashes. I don't know if I only got three or if I got four. But, um, pretty sure there's a fourth one in here somewhere. But I've been on the hunt for these Ioni uh, 3D Faux Mink Lashes for a while since people have been hauling them. So they're 100% handmade. Um, and so I got the ones in natural doll medium. I got the ones in wispy crisscross. And I got the ones in natural cat eye light. And I'm almost positive there's another one floating around in these bags somewhere. So um, maybe we'll run by it somewhere in this video. And I also got this, I don't know what they call this, but it's, uh, it's this large cylinder uh, vase or vase, however you say it. Um, I got this for um, making some resin flowers. Like I'm going to do an arrangement and I don't know if I'm actually gonna put resin in here, 
But I am going to make a flower arrangement and put it by my mom's, uh, by my mom's urn. Um, because her cat recently died also, so his urn is right next to hers. And I've been wanting to put a bouquet of flowers over there. But I don't want, uh, a real bouquet of flowers because they die. I want one that will stay there forever. So, got that. Um, these were just falling out of the bag, so I got two contact papers in this print. I love this print. It's so classy. It's just black and white with flowers all over it. And then I got a sheet of the clear one because I'm going to use this as a protector for this journal I just made. Um, which... Hold on, I'll go ahead and show you the journal that I made. So I made this completely, like I made this cover and I made the insides that go with it. So I made these little booklets. I made these little folders. And I made these little pockets. Granted, they're really tight pockets, but you know, I didn't think it was too bad for a first try and I can't even get my finger in this pocket. But I like it, it's super colorful. Um, it's my first attempt at making a traveler's notebook. So after I put my protective film over this, I will be using it in my purse so I made that last night and it took me a little while to make it but I really like the end result okay back to the haul now and here is the other eyelash this one is in wispy long crisscross I knew I had another one and for those of you who, or for those, yeah, for those of you who don't know, I do my own eyelash extensions. Like these are fake eyelashes, but I use this special adhesive so that they stay on for about seven days, give or take. So, oh my God, there's another one in here. I forgot I bought this one. This one is Wispy Doll Full. Very dramatic. Okay, I think that's all of them. I got these vitamin C cleansing cloths. I do not believe that these are for your face. They're by Global Beauty Care Premium. Um, it says helps stimulate collagen sy synthesis and skin cell regeneration. I believe that these are to use all over your body, like where you get cellulite, so your arms, your legs, your stomach, your those types of areas. There's 60 wet cloths in this package. So I got two of them. Not bad for a buck. I got a brow and lash comb by Wet and Wild. Put that right there. I got some paper pads. I got these writing tablets. They are five in a pack so i got three of them i got the light blue i got the lavender and i got the lime green those are the only colors that i didn't already have because i got the bright yellow the light blue the darker purplish color and
I think that's all. Pretty sure that's all. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I got this teal color. And then I kind of went bonkers on the paper pads. <laughs> because I'm customizing these and I'm going to make my own uh, paper pads. And I might sell them because um, if we ever have a craft fair uh, in Arizona where I live, like I want to try and sell my crafts if I get good enough at making them. So yeah, so I bought one, two, three, four, five of these paper pads. They're the chunky paper pad, the 150 sheets, and they are all white papers. Usually I can only find the colored ones, but I found the all white ones, so I stocked up on those because I don't know when I'll find them again. This is mostly a crafty haul, but I do have some other stuff like this uh, nail polish holder. I got it in the purple. You hold it between your fingers while you're painting your nails or your toes and the uh, nail polish bottle fits right in here. It stays right there and it makes it easier for you to uh, do your nails. You're not like fumbling around trying to get to the nail uh, polish and spilling it because you know your girl's done that before. Um, I got this utility knife two, with two extra blades by the tool bench. I got that for work to carry in my pocket, even though we're not supposed to carry those kinds of blades. But you know what? I do what I want. I got these embellishments, uh, stickers, whatever you want to call them. I got these stickers from Crafters Square. They're all from Crafters Square. Crafters Square, sorry. I just got my bottom braces in, so it's really hard to talk. I'm slurring my words. Plus, I just had coffee and like I'm like bouncing off the walls right now. So yeah. So I got these travel ones. I got these wedding ones. I thought they were cute. And I got two packs of these seashell ones because I don't know, I really am digging the beach, the beachy stuff this year for some reason. I got, or I found some Wet n Wild makeup. This is the only Wet n Wild makeup product that I bought. It is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit matte lipstick and it is in the color lavender crown the color really spoke to me it is right up my alley and i don't have that color so yeah i bought it i bought two of these glue and residue erasers because i could have sworn that i bought these once before and when I cleared up my crafting area, they were nowhere to be found. So I don't I have no idea what happened to them unless I thought I bought some and then I actually didn't. So I don't know. And oh no, I got two more bags. I thought I was down to my last bag. Now this is a project that I'm gonna do because I saw someone do this on YouTube and I've never been able to find the self-healing cutting mats in a Dollar Tree before until today and apparently you use nine of these cutting mats you tape them together and it makes you one big cutting mat and the dimensions on that cutting mat I don't remember what they are but it's huge so for nine dollars, um, you get a cutting mat that 
is the size of a $20 mat. So you're getting it for like half the price. But these cutting mats are not true to size. Let's see. All right. Let's measure this bad boy and get the actual dimensions. It's seven by nine inches. So seven by nine inches, actually. Seven by nine inches. And I got nine of them, so that's a really big mat. I can't do the math right now. And I'm filming on my phone, so I can't really look it up either. So, and the very last bag that I have is my floral bag. And some of these I got doubles, some of them I only got one. And there's star foam everywhere. But uh, yeah. So I got two of these purple roses. I got one of these lilies and I was digging through the flowers to make sure I got the nice ones. I got these plumerias. I got them in the orange color. And I got them in this yellowish color. I got some white roses. I got two packs of those. And it says this is baby's breath, but I don't know. I got two packs of those. I thought they were just little white flowers. And I got some of the pink ones. I just got one of the pink ones. Now this looks more like baby's breath. But I got two of those. And the Dollar Tree I went to is the one by my sister's house. And they usually have a better selection of stuff. So I like going there when I get a chance. I uh, was in the area, so I figured why not. And so that is it for my haul, guys. I am super excited to craft uh getting back into my crafting um super excited to possibly do videos of it i've been watching a lot of other craft videos and i've been like following tutorials on how to do stuff and i've been doing my own variations based on what I've been watching and uh, yeah, so I'm super excited to do that. Super excited to share all my stuff with you guys. And so I think that's it for the haul. I think that's it for the video. And so um, when I make my arrangement, I will post it on Instagram and I think that's it, you guys. So thank you all for watching. Um, please hit that like button and if you like this video, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be putting out a lot of crafting videos, I think. 
So if you're a crafter or you like crafts, then keep on watching. Well, I guess that's it. Uh, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.